when I first thought of the marathon tragedy, I thought about all the images we have been receiving through the media. So it was uh, lots and lots of thousands of images, photographs, videos. So the sky was beautiful that day. Was so the blue splatter with the blood and the darkness of the moment and the spectators over here and the runners, it became all one big mass. And um, there was uh, still, you know, some little blue sky up there, but there was a lot of tension and dark, darkness and sorrow and pain and loss. So it's it's like mm. all these pictures that you that we all saw in on TV or on, you know on, in all the media. So um, it was just like uh, the I tried to to put it as abstract as possible uh, the, those feelings of sorrow and loss. I felt that I had expressed what I wanted to. At least uh, Marlena gave us the confidence of expressing ourselves without fear. And so I was completely shameless and just did what I wanted to do and <laughs> use all the colors I needed to. And that was the creation. <laughs> the invitation was really to um, do something about um, the marathon bombings. And, um, and I, I worked very, very quickly. This was the first one. And uh, the feeling of violence, the red was the first strike. And, um, and just the sense of unexpected, what's happening? And, and at the same time, there were pockets of resilience. And that's what this purple piece was really, to try to express and then the, the next one was really the, the sense of the violence again. It's this, the explosion and the feeling, the blue was the feeling of movement stopped. Um, this was the feeling of the suddenness of things coming apart. And, and this was, I decided to put, experiment with language and just uh, put sound in and to have it be small. Just and this and this I did these all very quickly, uh, maybe twenty minutes. This one was um, to to actually put in the size of the paper, the configuration of it, the sense of the jaggedness of the experience and to have it be in the paper and the violence of it and and part of what uh, the experience was like was the non-stop reporting you know the so this says you know our sources at NPR tell us um, uh, Commissioner Ed Davis says stay in your homes. AP reports that the suspect is hiding in a boat. Governor Deval Patrick's asked us to cooperate with the police reports, NPR, more wounded. Um, this kind of assault of the language um, and the feelings of intensity with these little bits of hope in the green, you know, of... So I, I did it pretty much without thinking very, very fast. Have you ever used art to sort of work through an emotional situation? No, I, I, I love art, but I have never done anything like this. Do you think maybe as a result of this exercise, it might be something that you would go to in the future if you were Possibly. working on something? Possibly. I loved doing it. I was completely absorbed and you know, it just felt fluid. It just felt like it came out of me one after the other. I knew I wasn't thinking. It was just expression of what was happening. I was about 
10 miles from the finish line, so I didn't see all of the horror of it all. All I saw that day was just the joy of it all and the patriotism and how hard. <clears throat> I get really choked mm. up. I'm sorry. Just talking about how inspired people were running in the marathon, and I've watched it for years, but I've you know, it's been a long time since I was right up there in front. So um, I guess that's what I wanted to show and that the, I extended the legs really long further then because that's what it was, you know, pushing, pushing towards the finish line. And just the bright colors and just the, the happiness of it and the flags because it is Patriot's Day. And um, so I just wanted to paint the goodness of the day and not the sadness of the day. I didn't know anyone in the race at all. It's just with two other friends and we're just down there, you know, getting inspired. <laughs> Years ago I was inspired by the marathon to walk the, um, the walk for hunger in Boston, the 20 mile walk. So I did that for several years. But that was walking, that wasn't running. <laughs> Still endurance. But it's, an, it's, it's just an inspirational you know, time of, of joy.